let's take a look at some of the different methods for recording time entries for services performed in Design Manager. First, let's begin with simply creating an item in specifications for each billable entry. This is an extremely quick and convenient method of inputting the billable time, and it's very common for small proprietors or smaller firms. So we'd simply go to our project and specifications in Design Manager, and in Professional, of course, you would go to your project and specifications and enter in your project code. We'll use our brown new town home for our example. Let's go ahead and record a time entry. I simply make a new item. In the client description, I can use a couple features that are underutilized in Design Manager first. I can click on the date in input, and boom, it's going to insert today's date for me, which I could change, of course, if necessary. And I can also use my remarks or description glossary by clicking on the search icon and selecting, let's say, travel. So I have a pre-configured set of descriptions that I use that makes my time entry extremely convenient. From here, go ahead and put in our location. I'll use my time location. Quantity of one, units could certainly be hours. Sales category, I'm going to select something appropriate such as professional services or time. I can then go ahead and put in the estimated price for my hour of work and let's say I charge myself at $75 an hour and I could even put in an estimated cost. Now this is completely optional and not particularly useful for sole proprietors but if you're in a larger firm where you have employees that are billed on an hourly uh, rate, it would be very handy to have that information when you're doing your profit analysis on your particular projects. So we could say that I could build out by the company at $40 an hour. Now, we're almost ready to go. Let's check a few things here. First, notice on the component window that I'm actually classifying my time entry as merchandise, but that's not even going to matter because my sales category has been configured so that even my merchandise entries go into the appropriate sales or revenue account for professional services and time. So now that I have my sales category configured properly, all of my revenue will appear in the, in the proper professional services time uh, account on my income statement. Let's go ahead and quickly add another one. I'm going to use my OK Add option. It saves my first time entry and keeps my item window up. Use my date input. And let's say I can use my remarks glossary again for some design work. Again, conveniently, that puts the description in for me. I'll use time as my location. Let's say I do two hours. Professional services. And in this case, that would be 150 and 80. And if we click OK, we can see there are our brand new time entries in our brown new town home. So this method, extremely quick and familiar, as we're using the same windows that we use to enter our merchandise or other services that we're providing to our client. And as we will see, we can use the layout feature on the client invoice window to change the order of the billable items if desired. And this does not require any other configuration in Design Manager.